So we are discussing roots of biotechnology. So by 1849, people started to produce yeast industrially. So did it, did it have any impact on the society? Definitely yes. If a bakery was producing, let's say, 10 loaves a day, they started to produce around 100. And, and that started this big revolution, the commercial production of food. Now, what you are watching on your screens is, it's, it's not butter. What it is, it's a, it's a block of compressed yeast. Actually, we were making such blocks in Pakistan as well. There was an industry in Lahore named Ravi Rayan, which sadly got nationalized in the 70s. So, by 1876, Kone created a term, enzymes. So, what are enzymes? Enzymes are basically biocatalysts which lowers the activation energy of any biological reaction, the way catalyst do. Basically, what do they do? They increase the reaction ki speed. Tez kar dete hain. So, for example, if there will be no enzymes, your body's normal metabolic processes, hain, wo, let's say, in a year, the reaction hona hai, wo ab chand seconds. Mein ho and he also discovered trypsin. Trypsin is an enzyme which basically cleaves proteins. जब आप लोग गोश्त खाते हैं तो बेसिकली इट्स स्ट्रिप्स इन व्हिच डाइजेस्ट्स दैट पर्टिकुलर प्रोटीन नाउ बाय 1881 पीपल स्टार्टेड टू यूज माइक्रोब्स और हम लोगों ने देखा कि इंडस्ट्रियली माइक्रोब्स इस्तेमाल होना स्टार्ट हो गए बेसिकली लैक्टिक एसिड बैक्टीरिया यूज किया गया टू प्रोड्यूस लैक्टिक एसिड अम लैक्टिक एसिड इज यूज्ड एज अ प्रिजर्वेटिव in 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 food industry aap logon ke kisi ki agar aapne daant pe kabhi keeda laga dekha ho so that is also due to the microbes which produce lactic acid or lactic acid kyunki obviously it's an acid so basically it eats away the enamel now by 1890 suddenly we see a huge development in vaccines we'll do a separate lecture on vaccines as well Robert Koch and Louis Pasteur discovered, basically started the first vaccines and it a huge, enormous impact to our human life. Way. So basically, on the left hand side of the screen, you are seeing that in 1900, how many people affected. Se. So the bubble size basically shows you the size of population. But now, we, you see on the right hand side, basically this is the data from 2010, that how much size has reduced. So, you can see that at that time around 30,000 people were affected by smallpox. Now, so many people were affected from diphtheria, people were affected from tetanus or polio. Sadly, we still, there are some incidences of polio in Pakistan, otherwise world is pretty much clean of them. So, vaccines had an enormous impact on, on human life and basically this marked the success of biotechnology. 1893 people started to produce citric acid through a mold known as Aspergillus niger. Citric acid is probably the most used ingredient in, in your daily diet as a preservative. If you are eating ice cream, then you have also citric acid. If you are taking any fizzy drink, then you have also citric acid. Um, 1897, Edward Buchner made cell-free extract and showed that uh, it could still ferment sugar. So basically, what did he do? He took these cells, he lysed them, he took them, and got its extract out and used that extract to ferment sugar. So, now we were discussing that there were cells, so basically cells are the wine are making, cells are the cells which are taking action. So he took a step further, that there is something inside these cells which are causing some reactions to happen. Or I think now you can pretty much guess, that what is something? Kya hai? That something was enzymes. So in 1915, it was the first time that a patent was granted for the for the use of enzymes in the in detergent industry 
हम पहले ही एग्जाम्पल देख चुके हैं कि डिटर्जेंट के अंदर सेल्यूलेजेस जाते हैं प्रोटीएजेस जाते हैं लाइपेजेस जाते हैं सो so, 1915 में उसका पहला पैटेंट दिया गया था वट इज अ पैटेंट बेसिकली पैटेंट आपको अलाउ करता है कि फॉर ट्वेंटी ईयर्स ओनली यू वुड बी एबल टू यूज यूर डिस्कवरी एंड आफ्टर दैट इट विल बी ओपन फॉर द पब्लिक टू यूज यूर इन्वेंशन एज वेल सो इट गिवस यू अ मार्केट मोनोपली फॉर सर्टन टाइम पीरियड and this patent was granted to otto rome and he also used such enzymes for leather production as well in 1917 also another big industrial process started that was the fermentation of starch to produce acetone butanol and ethanol and why it was important because this is the period jo bilkul aa raha hai world war 1 se 1 ke around and followed by world war 2 as well so basically butanol was specially used to make a chemical known as cordite so on your screen what you are watching are these fibers which are basically small explosive this process was championed by kaim weizmann and now we are in 2015 that butanol is coming back basically to produce as a biofuel otherwise once cordite was replaced by modern explosives people started to stop using or fermenting butanol in 1928 a mega event happened so till that time hamare paas koi method nahi tha ki aapki body mein jo microbes exist kar rahe hain hum unko kisi tarike se maar sake the only way to kill a cell is to give it some sort of a poison to so, if some living thing is inside you the only way to kill it is to probably kill myself alongside with it but what happened that one day alexander fleming was working in working in his lab with with a bacterial strain and what he saw was ke ek penicillium notatum ka ek spore it killed uh, basically growth of bacteria and then he published it and basically till next 10 years followed to basically extract that particular compound from it which was termed penicillin and basically penicillin ki growth se ek mega event start hota hai jiske andar what you see is ke biotech flourish karti hai especially fermentation industry ne bahut flourish kiya so that was the first drug aur aapki jo modern medical मॉडर्न मेडिकल साइंस है दिस वॉज द बेसिकली हिस्ट्री चेंजिंग इवेंट बिकॉज आफ्टर द इन्वेंशन ऑफ पेनिसलीन ऑपरेशन ऑपरेशन गॉट वेरी इजी है थैंक यू